Farming is considered to be the most dangerous occupation that we have in the state of North Dakota. And the big reason for that is, is that there's an awful lot of moving parts. We deal with very heavy equipment and we deal with a variety of pieces of equipment uh, when working on the farm. One of the areas that we see a lot of accidents, even now, um, is the from PTO uh, shafts that are not properly um, operating the way that they should be. A PTO is basically a solid shaft that attaches from the back of the tractor to an implement that serves as a power source to make all the belts and chains and, and moving parts on whatever piece of equipment um, function. That PTO shaft usually is about eight inches above the draw bar of the tractor and it, it again extends from the back of the tractor to that implement. There should be a shield that surrounds that, that PTO shaft itself that needs to be moving freely to prevent accidents. We run very large equipment and many of our tractors are going to be 80, 150, 300 horsepower strong. And one of the things that we use as a demonstration is we're going to use this half horse um, drill and talk about how fast accidents can happen. Basically, if you get a, a shirt or something caught in a PTO, it can happen really fast. And again, that PTO shaft stays about eight inches above a draw bar. Now let's imagine that you're inside of this uh, PTO shaft and you get a piece of clothing, uh, uh, your hair, um, a shoelace, or something stuck in there. We're going to turn this on. And basically what happens is that is rotating so fast, it's about seven revolutions per, per second. And now if you're in that shirt, we have to start asking ourselves, what is the possibility of surviving an accident like this? Now, the PTO is part of that. We also talk about pinch points that can happen as we, we raise uh, loaders on, on tractors. These cylinders come down and we get people that get trapped underneath. If we're riding um, with people on the buckets of tractors and, and the operator basically makes a, a slight move that, that moves the, the bucket too fast, various things like that are sometimes, um, I guess we do those types of things on farms just to help make a, a, a task easier. But remember, these are very powerful machines, whether it's chains that are running on balers or belts that are turning. We want to make sure that anytime you're operating farm equipment and you go back and you start working on the piece of, of, of equipment that you're, you have, that you shut the PTO off, that you know that there's nobody inside of the tractor that could potentially turn that on and basically um, cause um, serious, if not permanent damage to the person uh, working on, on that, that baler or, or whatever piece of equipment that you have. Understand safety is our priority one when we're operating farm equipment and that we ask you to think before you make any decisions on operating farm equipment. Yeah.